Okay, we're going to continue in Matthew, or Mata Yahu is Matthew's real name in Hebrew. It's Mata Yahu. And, uh, but in Matthew chapter 8, verse uh, 16 and 17, we were reading, um, and I will go back and read these verses again. It says, talking about the Messiah, Mashiach, when, he, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with demons, and, and he cast out the spirits with his word. And he healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah, or actually your English trans translation may say Isaiah, but again, it's talking about the prophet Isaiah, but again, Isaiah is a made up name. His real name in Hebrew is Yasha Yahu, translated means salvation of Yahuwah, he, he, the that is what his name translated means. The prophet Isaiah's real name is Yahshiatu, Yahu. And he says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Now he's quoting from Isaiah, but where is he quoting from? He's quoting from Isaiah chapter 53. The verses that we read in our previous videos talking about the fact is that, well, in fact, let's just go to the it right now just, just to read a, a portion again of Isaiah 53 where uh, Matai Yahu is quoting from Isaiah or Yahshiahu and he says in uh, that in Matthew 8 17 that it might be fulfilled which was spoken see it was spoken in the Tanakh or the Old Testament in the book of Yahshiahu that this person mentioned in Isaiah 53 uh, that he bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. Isaiah 53 says that Yahusha, uh, look, let me go back to reading this. Uh, verse four says, surely talking about the Mashiach, he has borne our sickness. Now the, the English translation says griefs. But if you look this Hebrew word up, we've already covered this in our past sessions, that the word actually Hebrew word here is the, the word koli, um, and it actually means sickness. Now, it could also mean Greece, but, but it's because uh, Hebrew words have more than one meaning to them, just like a lot of English words have more than one particular meaning. But it should have been better translated as sickness. In fact, because of what Matthew chapter 8, verse 17 says, he's verifying the fact that he's, it is speaking about sickness in here because he talks about the fact is that Yahusha, um, you know, healed all that were sick, all that the sick that were brought to him were healed. And he said, this fulfills the prophecy that was spoken of by Isaiah or Yahshayahu that uh, himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Well, where is that quoted from? That's, it's quoted right here in Isaiah chapter 53, verse four, surely he, talking about Messiah, has borne our sickness and carried our sorrows. Now, the sorrow, the word sorrows, actually better translated, would have been the word pain. He, when you have sickness, a lot of times there's a lot of pain involved. Well, Yahushua has borne not only our sickness, but he's also borne the pains associated with that sickness. Why did he bear it upon himself? So we would not have to bear it, that we could be free from it. The fact of the reality is that our the price for our uh, healing has already been paid for. But, you know, it doesn't just work or automatically fall on anybody. They have to put faith and trust in that. They have to know what the will of the Father is concerning the healing of their bodies. Um, so it says here that uh, he, in verse 5 says, <clears throat> well, let me go back to verse 4 again, where it says, he carried our he, he bore our sickness, carried our pains, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are, not we may be, or we're going to be, it says we are healed. As far as the Father is concerned, the healing of our bodies has already taken place because of the sacrifice that was made so you and I could be healed. Uh, I brought out in our past sessions talking about this word here, iniquity. This is a, I encourage you to look this up in the Hebrew. The word is avon. 
And if you look to do a study about this word, it's not just talking about sin. It's talking about the punishment that's due a particular sin. I, I share with y'all in, in Genesis when uh, Cain had killed his brother Abel and Yahuwah pronounced uh, judgment upon him. Um, Cain, one of the things he said, he says that, uh, that his punishment was more than he could bear. And the word there was avon. So the punishment of the sin is, 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 the, is also involved. It's not just that Yahushua bore our sins, but he bore the punishment that was due our sins. He paid the price for. That's, that's because we could be free from it and not have to suffer the consequences of it. I hope this is helping you. The more that you see and understand that Yahushua has paid the price for the healing of our bodies, you can have faith if, if, if the enemy attacks you with sickness or disease, you realize that he has no right to do this. The Bible says resist the devil or resist Shaitan and he will flee from you. And when you know that you've been set free from something and that you know that he has no legal right to put sickness and disease upon you and I, then you can resist him. You can claim and call upon Yahuwah Rapha, your healer, and expect and believe that he will watch over his word and perform it and drive sickness and disease out of your body. We'll continue this on our next uh, session together. And uh, again, I hope this is uh, ministering to you. Um, please share these videos with others and help them to understand what the will of the Father is concerning the healing of their bodies. Until next time, Shalom.